MPR 1-2 Behold the teachings concerning life and the testimonies, which are a true guide through the portals at the great halls of eternity. Here is a code of behavior and manner of living prescribed by the noble ones. The story of life with a revelation of the secrets and mysteries of the unseen kingdoms and earth. The meaning and purpose which govern all things. Those that can only see value in the material world will believe it silly to deny our material desires and what they believe is a foolish hope that there is something more within us that will survive when the body is of no more use. This makes them angry at those that would impose on society rules that would civilize us. A moral code. They do not see the point in denying themselves the pleasures on earth for some hope for payoff that they believe will never be. The other side is... They look all around, and they also fear the human condition, but they reject the ideal that a human life is all there is. They do feel the duality, as the other person does, and they acknowledge that the body does die, but they believe the soul survives, that that is eternal. Both are valid, and no one is going to have the answer. They just have no way to prove it. So... Having a different path, respecting that God chose that path, and then you should realize thinking different from how you see living doesn't make them evil. It just means they suffer a disability, a lack of imagination, a willingness to trust what they cannot see, that there is value in respecting others. It is not wise to ignore or belittle their needs. Society must demand some sacrifice of free will. To be too strict, you have no respect for the individual that sees value in what you do not. Well, only to anger and resentment, you need to be free to explore your path that God sets you on. But you also need to allow others to explore theirs.